Mahal? Thanks, Jill. She was first elected to Congress in 2006, and now she's currently serving her third term in the U.S. House of Representatives. Now Congresswoman Maisie Hirono is vying for the U.S. Senate seat to be vacated by Daniel Akaka, and she's up against former Congressman Ed Case. And Congresswoman Maisie Hirono joins us in studio this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so Maya much Lani. for joining us. So you know the poll numbers, you're leading mm -hmm. in the poll numbers, yes. you're leading in fundraising, and you're also leading in union support. So how confident are you feeling going into Saturday's primary election, and are you already focusing your efforts on Linda Lingle? I feel really good, and uh, I'm just so glad that we have so much support out there. But, of course, I take nothing for granted, and uh, tomorrow I'll be going to Maui. We're doing our Get Out the Vote for a Stronger, More Sustainable Hawaii Tour. And I was on Kauai a couple of days ago. We'll be going to the Big Island. So there's no let up. We just keep on going. I take nothing for granted. And what about focusing your efforts on Linda Lingle even before the primary? There are such differences between Linda Lingle and me, and you know the Republicans nationally only need four uh, votes in order to totally take over the U.S. Senate, and they consider Linda Lingle their number one draft pick to do that. So uh, going forward, I'll be pointing out the differences between Linda and me, and in terms of what's what's at stake in this election. When you talk about Republicans and Democrats in mm -hmm. Congress, um, you've been labeled as one of the most liberal members <laughs> of, the, of the Congress. And, you know, a lot of voters have expressed frustration over uh, inaction in Congress. So what makes you think that you can actually reach compromise when you've been having this uh, liberal label? Well, it's not a matter of right or left. You know, what I do is I, I do what's right for Hawaii. And as you may have seen in the Don Young ad, he's one of the longtime Republican members of Congress. I will work with anybody to do what's good for Hawaii, what's right for Hawaii. And so he's, he and I have gotten together and we've worked on issues to save Native Hawaiian Alaska Native programs. That's what I do. I'm a doer. I get things done. I will walk across the aisle and work with anyone to do that for Hawaii. I was looking at our uh, media partner's website, Civil Beat, and they had mm -hmm. an interesting article about a uh, campaign donation from a former governor, Ben <laughs> Cayetano, who you worked under as lieutenant governor, and he gave a $500 donation <laughs> to your opponent, Ed Case. So what do you make of that? I just want Ben to uh, get better, you know, full and uh, complete recovery. I'm, I'm happy that I've had over 14,000 people all across the state and the country supporting my race. Hundreds of people are uh, going to be out in the uh, today, in fact, and all the way through primary election to help me win this race. Uh, as you know, you know, the country is dealing with some mass shootings both in Milwaukee yes. and Colorado. Do you think anything needs to be done in terms of gun control right now? I think that we need to have a national conversation about balancing the right of an individual to own guns and then the safety of our community because we just have too many of these mass shootings. However, it requires the, the country to come together uh, and, and say, you know, what are we going to do going forward? How are we going to protect people's uh, safety? Well, Congresswoman Maisie Hirona, we really Thank appreciate you. you stopping here this morning. I know you've had back. a busy campaign schedule, well, and we look forward to seeing you in the future. Aloha.